yo, what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, Professor Crypto. Got another hot crypto class for you guys today. This one's on fire. You guys already know anything we bring on the channel. It's got the heat, got the potential, and it definitely should be watched. This one is so different, guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Class is now in session. Eureka! This one is called Octodalia. Guys, Octodalia is the anonymous development team behind Rootkit, Unifund, and Up BNB. They solve the type of problems that no one else will even bother with. Rootkit showed that spending same money multiple times is possible. Now they're after the biggest prize and it seems that they won. The first creators of tokens that never go down. Price goes up on buys and price goes up on sells. This platform guys is the foundation of Octolily. The platform to visualize, illustrate the power of up only ecosystem and contribute to the Octodalia white paper by making a pull request on GitHub to help prepare it for peer review. Here's Octolily guys, which is what they're referring to, to being the visual and chart representation. Sliding over to PooCoin here guys, we have the beta test of the system. There's gonna be a brand new chart coming out for the actual launch guys, paired with the BUSD pair. Total supply is a little over 15 million. We have their market cap here. They're transactions, the contract, the holders, etc. Now, needless to say, guys, I think it would be very beneficial if we went over their white paper. So let's check that out. It's right here in front of me. They call themselves the twin flowers of time and love, a working implementation of the up only mechanism. When we examine the problem statement, problem encountered consistently in modern economies relates to the way individual actors relative power scales as their accumulated wealth increases. Of course, guys, it's expected that having a larger amount of money would give one person some advantage over others in society. However, guys, it is unsustainable for our free market price discovery systems and generational wealth on ramps to favor a small number of already advantaged participants so disproportionately compared to the majority of actors in the market. With massive disparity growing between the wealthiest and most economically vulnerable members of society, combined with massive intentional inflation, it's obvious at a higher level that money is in present form is broken. So guys, what is the up only solution? Well, their market mechanism. The up only market mechanism combines currently existing concepts within the framework of novel system design redistributing the incidental profits of market activity to everyone involved in that market perfectly equally in real time. This is accomplished by using a price floor to direct price the asset and then executing a large burn on transfer in coordination with all market activity buying and selling to increase the price floor. In effect guys, this creates a transfer fee that is paid directly to all users through an equal price increase of all tokens. For current tokens with mechanics that split fees between all users, this split appears to be fair and equal on the surface, but due to the standard legacy underlying market structure, the requirement of each user to sell at a future date means that the value received will always be different. Thus guys, current distribution systems making similar claims present the appearance of fairness while masking the underlying reality of continued inequity. A solution to this needs to radically reinvent our approach to pricing assets instead of carrying on conventions, which inevitably privilege an already wealthy. So their actual market mechanism. Tokens employing on the up only mechanism can only go up in price and can never decrease in value due to the tokenomics design employed. The market price of the token is locked at its price floor and a transfer fee in the form of a burn is charged upon every transaction. Thus guys, the token price at any given time is solely based on the ratio of current liquidity value to the number of circulating tokens this value is backing. This diagram of that here guys in figure one, showing that when a trade happens, either a buy or sell, the ratio change in the token reserves after the correcting corresponding burn causes the price increase for everyone normally guys to benefit from any market activity following a user's entry only those who perform a trade after this point see profit in tangible sense they're doing a lot of things like transforming the base structure of a trade they're transforming notions of trading risk when it comes to transforming the price floors traditionally guys a price floor is used to determine the lowest possible price of an asset and can be evaluated by external parties like traders to determine how much risk 
they might take on. Price floor information can be used by a system itself to maximize the effects of the value it holds, releasing value back to the users when it gets trapped below the floor and is no longer required to fully back the current market. They're using a utilized innovative token burn mod. This is dynamically adjusted burns, short for DAB guys, as well as dynamically adjusted liquidity, DAL. In conclusion guys, by changing the way profit is gained and extracted from markets by its participants, they unintentionally limit its ability to scale its process. There is a limited number of value in any asset that exists, and once a large enough percent of that value is in the system, the incentive for any new users to enter the system goes down. Additionally guys, as the value in the market's reserve grows, it becomes less advantageous for lower value amounts to enter the system in general. An overall factor of up only markets is that as reserves grow and shrink, so does the amount of value that can enter the market and be assured profit if enough time passes. If a user enters a market and owns a percent of the supply, which is lower than the burn percent, that user is guaranteed profit if everyone else sells before they do. In addition to the negative effect of losing the profit guarantee, a single user owning a large percent of the supply would make the market naturally more unattractive to future users. The system's intended design is to be for those with less value so we take a very simple but unusual approach to address this when a market grows too big they launch another identical market these markets are launched with a low amount of liquidity reserves making them unattractive to anyone wanting to enter with large amounts as small value amounts enter the market the reserves expand to become more attractive to large amounts and less attractive to their original target group of low value users with the optimal value amount to enter the market now scaling up with markets reserves, they naturally onboard users in the order of how much value they are willing to put in. New markets are not expensive to start and naturally scale themselves up over time. Larger markets can be created simple by starting with larger reserves. This leads to a lot of benefits like low value users collectively provide the liquidity for whales over time, obtaining reserves to start a market is no longer an issue. Now plebs can front one or the whales because whales can't enter too much or they will just launch a fresh market. Whales are forced to plump plebs bags. They still get to profit, just not disproportionately like in the past. There is so much efficiency here, guys. I definitely recommend checking out their white paper in further detail, guys. There's a lot to learn from this project. Shout out to all my students. I love you. Group Shout out to the Crypto Class Gang. Shout out to the Lambo Gang. Shout out to the Whale Gang. Shout out to the Hoddle Gang. Thank you for always your continued support, guys. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button for me. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Please remember, guys, we are an impartial channel, so whether your opinion is negative or positive, we would be more than happy to hear it that being said guys class is now dismissed we'll see you in our next video professor crypto out